Some of the things that I think are going to be really exciting about the rollout of these guidelines are that since the last guidelines were published, we now have four new drugs that are available on the market for people to prescribe and we don't have any guideline information about how to use those. And so one of the things that was really exciting for our panel is that we are able to dig in and try to make some recommendations about how to use those drugs in the treatment of people with venous thromboembolic disease. And it was really exciting, but it was also challenging because the drugs are new enough that a lot of the information about questions that people are grappling with there might not have been as uh, much evidence, but the really great thing was is in the room in the panel discussing this were the experts and the people that really have their finger on the pulse of what's going on out there clinically. A novel thing about these guidelines is, is that the plan is, is to continually update them uh, as much as possible in real time. And so I think our panel will get the opportunity to add additional information. And uh, as new drugs come onto the market, there's many that are in the pipeline right now. We'll be able to add to the recommendations that we've made and continue to inform people about the optimal use of anticoagulant drugs.